Is there a benefit to having gap insurance also? Depends on the structure of the loan, but there's plenty of instances in which gap can be very beneficial. If you're putting little to no money down, specifically buying a new car, um, there's going to be a period of inequity, so we, we call it. Your insurance companies are only required by law to pay what's figured to be fair market value on the vehicle. You could owe anywhere from that amount to way more or way less. If you feel like you're falling in the category in which you may owe quite a bit more than the car may be worth, gap coverage is certainly something to look at. In instances when you're doing short-term financing and putting down large amounts of money, it's generally not something that's going to benefit you by having it on your car loan. You're not going to be in a position in which you're going to have to come out of pocket money in the event it's totaled out. So. Is the gap insurance that you sell different from the gap insurance that my credit union sells? Gap policies can vary. They all generally have the same uh, basic benefit. Um, they can vary from lender to lender, from company to company. Um, we use Honda Gap Waiver, which is nice because they do pay up to a $50,000 claim and up to 150% of the MSRP of the vehicle. Um, one thing that is nice about Honda Gap Waiver as well is they do pay the insurance deductible at up to $1,000 in the event of a total loss where there is or is not inequity. It's hard to really say if it's different than the credit unions. Know what you're buying when you buy it. Know what the fine print is when you get it so down the road you're not surprised when something comes up that, that you didn't expect because they are all a little bit different.